so we are now focusing on the roles of the auditor user auditor has a specific role to play uh, where they will be more or less working on the uh, part where the normal admin account does not give an access to uh, auditor 14 was my user password i think i am entering correct okay now i am logged in so if you see as an auditor i also have access to the accounts but the strange thing is i don't have access to the account to connect if you see so because as an auditor i am not allowed to connect allowed to show the password as an auditor if i know the password i myself can harm an organization can take the session directly uh, bypassing the cyber arc can connect to the system even i am not part of uh, so this is not a good practice where auditors are allowed to connect to the target system given lots and lots of privileges to the account what they can come they can come here they can you know see any account when last time the password got changed that is it comply with the organization ties policy or not all these tasks they can perform see they don't even have a, a option to do the verify reconcile or change the password because it's not their uh, responsibility is their role defined they are simply come here they will they, they can change it. like you see here uh, there is a icon so the cpm password has got uh, uh, reconciliation for this password has got failed so that's what they can come back and if the password reconciliation somehow got changed and even the password change was happened after 90 days like so suppose in the last 100 day password hasn't got changed then in that case they can question or the cyber act team why the password hasn't got changed on this particular account because this is the responsibility of the cyber act administrator that the password has got changed for each and every account onboarded to cyber act within their defined periodicity periodicity could be 90 60 uh, 30 days as per the master policy that we have defined earlier so these are the task of the one of the task of the auditor the other task which usually auditor can perform they can directly go into the monitoring tab so here you see monitoring tab has some different values to offer like how to search there is another tab which uh, uh, will come here as a monitoring classic ui classic ui means the old ui here if you come there is a lot of different options same option you get in the other ui also so you can search like if i want to do the blank search like whatever recording is there in the uh, uh, in the uh, vault please show me all those recordings so you see all the recording has come up for me but i want to search the recording specifically for uh, admin 14 account then i'll directly give the admin 14 and we'll search see now i am seeing the uh, 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 admin 14 account uh, uh, logs files why this is coming that administrator one because the account password policy see password policy also has the 14 so now i'll search something which will be unique one like admin admin 01 for the ajitya now i'll search for him so you see only admin 01 policy has come up so if i want to see uh, when the admin like like somebody complains me okay uh, ajit has taken session to the target machine i may not need to go on every session uh, who is taken it out i will directly go search by the admin 01 if somebody tells me okay this was the unix based session so i'll put like ssh and i'll again try to search it out let's see see only ssh is coming up so there is a lot of different thing you can perform you can put lot of different attributes you can search these these are called the advanced search. even you can define the period period like within that period of time you want to get the uh, recordings on and you can click on the searching button so now i want to see the recording that's the whole purpose of it right mm -hmm. so i will click on this play button uh your browser does not support play recording session okay my browser does not support the play recording session then i'll switch to oh not this one i'll switch to the chrome and i'll reopen this one and i'll show you don't so i am opening the chrome browser mm. okay uh what was the url ah oh, shit it is pwa cpm cyber arc.lab/ password vault i will log in with the same uh, auditor don't worry 
auditor 14 it was password i know i have entered the password also so now i am logged in so i'll directly go to the uh i can go to a classic vi or any i i'll show you in both the ui so that there is no confusion i'll search for admin 01 which is aditya with ssi session we, because this is where we have left it out now i want to play the recording i clicked on the recording play button and see recording is enabled so i will be able to see whatever step has been performed by the aditya what all commands he has executed so currently it is there you you can even you know click somewhere and it will buffer it out it will directly show you that so i think after this i did not aditya did not perform anything and he just disconnected the session and once he connects the disconnect the session the recording will be stopped yeah. yeah that's what it is exit he put the last command exit and then he hit, he hit, hit enter and that is how the connection got closed okay are there any question with respect to this no it's okay okay Okay. Now I am trying to close this up, but it's not coming up for me somehow. No, if I want, yeah, please go ahead. What What was the question? Oh, okay. I am recording. So just give me another second. No, if I want the question, to, actually, if I want to, oh, then just allow me a minute. I think I am in between the recording session. So just one minute, I will be able to answer your or every question. apart from this uh, they have also have the privilege where they can uh, do the reporting part so there is a tab for the reporting they can directly go and they can generate lot of reports so what i want to generate as part of the report how many account i have in cyber arts so for that i will uh, uh, generate the report of the privilege account inventory so this will create the inventory i just click the next button provide uh, the meaningful name suppose i give the name with the uh inventory and i am just typing it out so that i can stand out my reports admin 14 so uh, not ad admin 14 sorry auditor 14 auditor 14 and here there are a lot of different thing you can perform like i can look for the safe if i want uh, some safe which is uh, i cannot recall in this moment i think it is if i define any safe it will only list me the account of that particular safe if i defined any account name then wherever the account is it will only give and fetch the report for that account only same goes with the platform you can see there is a lot there was a lot of lot of platform unix via ssh or unix via ssh uh, or duplicate all these platform can be defined here under the general tab the other tab is automatic management status which simply means no filter will be applicable only account will with the failure so whatever account had got the failure reason they will only be uh, you know pulled out the report from the other one is activity so here you can decide uh, access by the user in the last okay so you can decide couple of thing over here whether the uh, uh, you know once you select this this part include service account and then input this one and then you get this one so if you select this you can define for 5 day 10 day and 15 days last time when the user got access to it when last time when the account suppose it has a 1 lakh account in the system and i don't want to fetch the 1 lakh account i just want to fetch the account where they were used in last 50 days so i will just define a 50 and last 50 days whichever account were used they will only go with that so i will not do it right the moment but you can do it yourself and i'll show you in the other uh, uh, report i'll just click on the next button now the option which i get is a report recurrence recurrence simply means whether i just want to generate this report only once like when i click on the finish button it will start creating the report or as i can schedule the report if i just schedule the report you see i can schedule the report uh, like i want to create in the lean period of time when my business is not working so the, in the two in mid of the night in the two morning i want to create the report i want it to create like monthly and in the monthly i can perform i can give like a uh, uh, third and tuesday so third month tuesday it will perform so if i go and select the weekly i can select monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i want this report to be produced 
on weekday only and they will not be recurred so every day it will be performed only once and only one week this will be valid because recur every one week like it will occur every one week so you can consider every week five report will be uh, or produced with this particular uh, or 2 pm i think the 2 pm i have selected or oh, sorry 2 am so 2 am the report will be generated that's what i'm trying to say i will be uh, uh, creating the report immediately so i'll not select this option i will select the generate option immediately this is the generate immediately option the third option which i left in here now it will generate the option uh, generate the report as well as it will also save the template like whatever options i have selected in the back end or if i come back suppose i have selected a lot of different options all the options will be saved and these options can be utilized in the future so you don't need to go and you know drop down select every option you can directly select that particular definition and generate the another report but to generate the report you have to log in here so i will generate the report immediately and this is my account who will be generating the report i click on the finish button and report will start generating see record is zero size is zero and it is pending there is a refresh icon i would recommend everybody to please uh, make sure that the refresh icon is in the bottom so please refresh this icon this will give you the option you do not need to refresh the whole web page because it will take some time to load even but there is a inbuilt uh, refresh option so i see that the status is done the report is been generated successfully i click on the report and the report is gen uh, generated or downloaded in the excel sheet format if I click on this one, it will download in the CSV format. So I will download in the uh, uh, X, like in the Microsoft Excel format. And uh, this is the common error or warning you will always get because the uh, uh, the data which it supplies with its report always different than what uh, uh, Microsoft Excel can read it out. So you do not worry about the error that you have seen. You, that wasn't even, even the error, that was a warning. Just select the OK whenever the warning comes in. Now here, you can see every account, whichever I have onboarded into the system. These are the account. See, DM0102, any accounts, win, win Arcon, win Arcon, one is uh, someone else also onboarded the account. Mahindra has onboarded his own account with the name Mahindra. Uh, you see all these accounts are onboarded. They all are onboarded here. So only these many accounts we are in, having in the vault. That's how you can confirm it out. So if I click on this one, I think I will get the count. So count is 30. If I remove the header, then the count is 29. So 29 accounts as we speak, are there onboarded to the cyber app? That's what the inventory says. If I just minimize it, I will not close it out 